Today we are going to be discussing my LEGO Star Wars 2022 set predictions. Now, we just got the new official images for the LEGO Star Wars 2021 summer sets, and I thought it was a perfect time to skip ahead all the way to next year. Now, this list is going to consist of some of the sets I just think are going to come out next year, you know, in a bit of an itemized list from battle packs to micro fighters to mainline sets to UCS and Master Builder series sets. And, you know, I've been pretty on the ball with this kind of stuff. I predicted the Luke's Homestead promo. I also predicted the Bad Batch Shuttle, even the figures that would have come in the Bad Batch Shuttle. And on top of that, I also predicted the Duel on Mandalore set, as well as the Mandalorian Starfighter. So I think that I have a pretty decent track record on this. And this year, I really took my time to, you know, distinguish what a make sense set would look like, what things just make sense. I included some things from last year because I was just kind of baffled they didn't come out this year and they have to come out, um, you know, 2022. Uh, but with that said, I'm going to ask you all to subscribe. Also, we just started a How to Grow a Lego YouTube channel series on there. So if you want to check it out, uh, you know, it'll help me out a ton. And I think it's a really insightful series. But with that said, let's get into our first category of the micro fighters coming in 2022. I am going to have the, one of the same micro fighter predictions as last year, but is at $9.99, uh, the Razor Crest. Now, the Razor Crest obviously is a set that, you know, we should have gotten in micro fighter from last year. You know, we were missing a micro fighter. I think that was supposed to be it. It's going to come out next year. I just had a really good feeling, you know, even though it blew up and everything. And also another one that absolutely makes 100% sense to me is to do a micro fighter slave one. Uh, you know, obviously they're doing the new Slave 1 set this summer, and I think this would be a great set and a cheap set to put in the new Boba Fett minifigure with all the arm printing and stuff. Um, you know, this is first of all for the Book of Boba Fett, which will be airing episodes, I believe, around the time this is coming out, if not just finished. You know, if the Micro Fighters come out in January. Uh, so I think that would be a great way for kids to get their hands on a Boba Fett uh, in an even smaller, uh, you know, set. And I think it would just be a make sense type set. We have yet to get an official one, like mainline. A Slave 1, we did get a promo, um, you know, Micro Fighter Slave 1 a while back, um, but this one would be great. Really love to see it. Now let's get into the Micro Fighter Versus set. Now this one I thought I was being pretty darn original on. I really thought this one up, but apparently there were some models out there already of it. Um, so yeah, so this is the Blurg Micro Fighter, and in the model that I've seen, uh, it comes with the Imperial Transporter. I would think it would come with that E-Web turret type thing they had. Uh, in the beginning of the Mandalorian Season 1, Episode 1, uh, or possibly, you know, some sort of Scout Trooper Speeder. Um, but, you know, that makes sense, too. You know, the figures in this would obviously be probably a regular Mando. It doesn't even have to be Beskar. It could be Beskar, too. And you could also get a figure such as Kuwil in the set, the Ugnaught from the Mandalorian. I would love to see that. And, you know, the opposing character could be someone, I don't know, but it, it would be great. I think you'd have Scout Troopers, you'd have Pirates. Uh, you know, at $19.99, I think this would be a great set. The reason I chose the Blurg, uh, you know, and all of this, is, it seems kind of out there, is because that's the only animal left LEGO hasn't made. Like, think they've made the Tauntaun, they've made the Bantha, they've made the Dewback. They've really made all the ones that could fit in there. They could possibly do a Wampa, I could see them doing, and they could maybe even do a Rancor, but they're not even, like, the same type of rideable character that you could, like, have a minifigure ride on, which is the point of the Versus Battle Pack. Now, next up for our mainline sets of battle packs, first off, we have the Siege of Mandalore battle pack at $14.99. Uh, you know, this one I think is less likely than the others, I'm going to say, but I think it's certainly a high probability, especially with the new Siege of Mandalore sets. Um, but we are going to get in this one two 332nd troopers, uh, Mandalorian loyalist, maybe the one from the Bo-Katan ship, and a plain Phase 2 501st clone trooper, you know, just not boring, you know, came in the battle pack already, it's an easy recreation for LEGO to just throw in there. Uh, you know, build would probably be a speeder, if not some sort of Mandalorian, you know, house wreckage. You know, I can't imagine it's anything too exciting. Obviously, the focus here is the figures. And, you know, I think that would be great. And obviously, now that we know battle packs are coming back, I'm allowed to predict this stuff. Next up for battle packs at $14.99, it is going to be the Moff Gideon's Crew battle pack. Now, the build for this, I would guess, would be an Imperial Transport, but it could be really be anything. And there's so much figure potential here. The one I know that is guaranteed to show up in a battle pack next year, I feel like it's just going to happen, is the Dark Trooper. In the same way with the Praetorian Guards, they came in an individual set than a battle pack. The Dark Trooper is going to have to do the same type of thing. So we get one Dark Trooper, maybe two Storm Troopers, maybe a Scout Trooper, maybe a Flame Trooper even. We could see a Flame Trooper. I wouldn't be shocked if we even saw another Mustard Trooper, uh, the Yellow Trooper. I mean, there's so many possibilities here. There's so many great variants of Imperial characters in the Mandalorian. You can even see a Death Trooper in there. I wouldn't be shocked. 
Uh, but, you know, obviously that would be, you know, from Mando Season 2. And, you know, I think that would be pretty darn exciting. Uh, now let's move into the next one. Now next, about $14.99, this one is like the least likely, out of all the ones I'm going to mention, is the Camino Battle Pack. Um, so the build for this would probably be a command post, it would be based off the Bad Batch. Uh, and it would likely come with two fa plain Phase 2 clones, one of the Shadow clones uh, from the Bad Batch show, as well as a Shock Trooper. Now it could also see it coming with an Imperial Officer, uh, maybe Rampart, I don't know, we'd have to wait and see. Uh, there's also this custom one that I've seen, like of like a Mandalorian training facility. You get Kaminoans and you know young cadet clones. Uh, you know that it could be something like that too. But I think it's really going to lean heavy on the Bad Batch stuff. Uh, and then, you know I think the Bad Batch is a perfect set for a battle pack. And there's so many little army building characters in there. And I really just want to see some sort of uh, battle pack from the Bad Batch show, um, which would be great. Now let's move into my prediction for the big thirty dollar battle pack. Now this one is probably like. Out of all of them, they're just, I don't know if this is going to happen, but I would certainly like it, and it's going to happen eventually. Uh, but it is the 212 Ultimate Battle Pack. Now, at $29.99, you'd be getting a Crab Droid and Tri Droid. Same type of deal with the File First Battle Pack. I think you get three of the new 2020 style 212 Troopers, and you could also see yourself getting an Airborne Trooper in there. I think that would be totally within reason. And, you know, I guess some people count it as a mainline set. I think, you know, I'm just going to throw that out there. I'm not sure if it's going to happen. Obviously, that would be great. I probably see it happening maybe in 2023, so you know this will be like a two-year ahead prediction because the Five Earth Battle Pack is still going to be on shelves in 2022 most likely. Uh, so you know I'm sure Lego is going to want to cash in on everything there before they release the second one. Um, but yeah, I think that would also be a great counter to the Five Earth Battle Pack. Maybe I don't know. It comes with the droid parts, obviously. Uh, but now let's move into our main line sets for 2022. First up, I have a Bad Batch speeder chase. Now, theoretically, they should have done this with the speeders that came in the Bad Batch shuttle set and cut down the price $20, but they didn't. Um, so this is going to be like the Fennec Shand versus Hunter type thing. Uh, but yeah, so this would come with a Hunter, Fennec Shand, and Omega. This is obviously the reason. The main reason to do this is to get Omega. Uh, and maybe we'll get Hunter in his nice street clothes that we saw in that in that Bad Batch episode, and obviously they're already making a Fennec Shan, so this would be a perfect way to put her in a cheaper set. And, you know, I think it's totally reasonable that LEGO would want to, you know, re-release that figure since she's kind of been all over the place. And I've really had a hard time figuring out what to put Omega in. I think this just made the most sense uh, for a set. You know, it could have some nice speeders. It'll have like, a small one for Hunter and a big one for uh, Fennec, and it will just be a nice little down-to-earth build. And next up at $19.99, I predict we are going to be getting a downscaled A-Wing. Now, everyone's saying, you know, Y-Wing and stuff. I have some other predictions for that. Um, but, you know, my guess with this is it's only going to come with two figures, like the last A-Wing. And those figures are going to be the Kamikaze pilot that we saw crash into a Super Star Destroyer, as well as Nine Numb. I've been wanting a Nine Numb forever, and I think LEGO needs to make one. And I think this would be a perfect set. And I think that, you know, an A-Wing would be great for a Return of the Jedi. And, you know, it would go with all the new downscaled sets. Now, I'm not a huge fan of the downscaled sets. But I'm going to admit they're going to be making more of them. That's just a fact of life now. So I think it's totally reasonable to think we're going to be getting an A-Wing. I know a lot of people are thinking, oh, we're going to get a Y-Wing or a TIE Bomber next. I don't think that's the case. But I will talk about another Y-Wing I think may be coming. Now, this is the last Clone War set I think LEGO needs to make to, like, say they're finished doing Clone War sets. Like, this one needs to be made, and then after that I'd understand, you know, why they don't do other ones. Um, but it, this is the Captain Rex's Blue Y-Wing Bomber. Now, this was from Season 7 of the Clone Wars. You know, obviously, this would probably go for around $69.99, $70, um, maybe $80 if you're pushing it. Um, but the figures in this would be, obviously, Captain Rex, Ahsoka, Jesse, and a 332nd Trooper. Now, there's also a possibility they could throw in the R7 droid, maybe, you know, swap out someone in there. But the characters they absolutely need to put in are Captain Rex. Like, like he's a must-have figure. He is a must-have thing that we need LEGO to make. LEGO needs to make a Captain Rex in 2022. Because that's probably going to be the last chance we get to see him unless he shows up in, say, the Obi-Wan show or what have you. Um, but, you know, it is a absolutely great thing that needs to be made. We just got a red Y-Wing. And I think they're waiting for that to kind of, like, you know, slowly go off shelves so they can put this one out. Um, but I think it would be a perfect set to come out in January, if not in the summer wave of 2022. I think it would probably be more likely. Um, but, yeah, that would completely, I think, round off the Clone Wars. You know, we get the Jesse, Captain Rex. Uh, that's Those are the only characters, really, we need left uh, from the final arc. And I think that would be a nice book to close on for, you know, Lego Star Wars, the Clone Wars, which has been around for 
over at, at the time of this set if when it comes out, which will have been around for over 14 years, uh, which is insane, and I think that would be a really great closure. Now, next up, at the Mandalorian set, this is going to be a Mandalorian Season 2 set. Now, I'm going to go out on a limb. I'm going to say it's going to be the Mandalorian HAV Juggernaut at $90. Now, the last turbo tank we got was around $90. That came with Quinlan Voss and the little speeder and everything. Now, I predict this will come with Mando in his pilot armor, Mayfeld in his armor, the officer we saw Mayfeld shoot, a shore trooper, and maybe one of the pirates. Now, I think the pirate would also come in like a special like floating you know, pirate assault ship. Uh, that we saw in the Mandalorian episode, you know, we might even get two of those, uh, you know, to stick in theme with the other Juggernaut, which came with a little, um, walker build. And, you know, I think they would have a little loading area maybe to put some, you know, bombs or Rhydonium in. I think it could also foreseeably go for, you know, $99.99, but nothing really more than that. And it would be a nice small build, uh, you know, that was from the Mandalorian Season 2 Episode 7. And I really liked that episode, and I think this would make a lot of sense uh, for LEGO to do overall. And, you know, I just like it. Now let's move into my predictions for another mainline set. Now, I'm doing this one again. I am a firm believer they're going to do this. They did the micro build. They've done the cantina. They've done Obi-Wan's hut. They've done Luke's hut in episode eight. They've done Yoda's hut. They need to do Luke Skywalker's homestead, the most iconic building in Star Wars, Luke Skywalker's homestead. Uh, you know, twin sons. This would be a beautiful $30 set. You could get Uncle Owen, Luke, and Peru, R2-D2, it would be absolutely perfect. They need to make it. I'm not saying, like, even it's going to be a great set. It's just, it has, they have not made one in the 23 years at the time it'll come out. Lego time Lego Star Wars has been around. That is mind-boggling to me, and they need, it, it's going to happen. I, I guarantee it's going to happen. I already predicted it in the Advent calendar. It's, it's going to happen. Let's move into the helmet set. Now, I actually think the helmet sets are going to start be moving out of the original trilogy, and I think they're going to be moving in to, you know, the First Order era. Uh, so my predictions are at $69.99, we're going to be getting a Kylo Ren's helmet. That's a no-brainer. I'm really, th that that's going to happen. Uh, you know, a First Order Stormtrooper helmet, same at $69.99. That's pretty much a no-brainer, too. And then finally, I think they're also going to do a third one. If they do, it is going to be a Phase 1 Clone Trooper helmet. Now, I don't think it's going to be Phase 2 yet. Mainly, I think it's going to be Phase 1 because we're getting the gunship this year, and I think that would be a nice, you know, complement piece to it. I think that would be a nice little thing to have next year, UCS gunship. And I think, you know, they're going to start pushing it on Attack of the Clones next year because it is going to be, I believe, the 20th anniversary of Attack of the Clones in 2022, uh, which is all very exciting. Um, but yeah, so let's move in to our next set, which is at $129.99, Jabba's Palace. Now, this is not going to obviously be Jabba the Hutt themed because apparently that set has some problems in the news like, a few years ago. I am going to guess it's going to be Book of Boba Fett themed with Boba Fett, Fennec Shand, you know, maybe Bib Fortuna. We really cannot know that much about Boba, the, the whole, you know, situation with that show or any of the other new shows. So I'm working with my realm of knowledge with it. All we know is that Jabba the Hutt's palace is likely going to be involved in some way. Um, so, you know, I think around $130 is fair. You know, with inflation, it's probably sets are going to be a little bit more than we expect. I wouldn't be shocked if even Micro Fighters went up to $12. I mean, you know, I think that would be all nice. Uh, you know, we get the, all these figures, you know, hopefully it would be some exclusive ones. We'll see. We don't know the characters of the show yet, but it's very exciting. Now, let's get into the UCS M Master Builder Series set. Now, I think next year, without a doubt, we're getting our UCS Nebula on B. I don't know when that will be. My guess is this going to be the three, uh, $250 or $350 set. I don't see it being $200 like an A-Wing, uh, you know. And I see this not having huge on, being huge on figures, I guess, you know. We get a medical droid, Luke and Leia and their appearances in that, maybe 3PO and R2. I could also even see Lando and Han's clothes coming in this one. You know, it could come with a nice little command room, a nice little medic bay. Uh, if they could even fit that, it'll probably have a nice little small Millennium Falcon under it. UCS Nebulon, without a doubt, is going to happen. I'm not really wary of that because Lego promised that they'd come out with all the different sets that were voted on for the UCS thing, and, you know, that, that seems pretty darn likely. Um, so next up, let's move into the Master Builder Series set. I thought this was going to come out this year as the $350 set. I was wrong. Uh, but it is, without a doubt, going to be Master Builder Series Yavin 4. Uh, $350, without a doubt, it's going to happen. That's the only real original trilogy thing that has not been made yet. Uh, they had a concept for one, like, 10, 12 years ago. Um, but, you know, this is it. You know, small. it might come with small features. Like, you know, it might come with a small X-Wing, a troop transporter... In it, you know, it'll obviously come with special rooms like a hangar, a command room, ceremony room. 
Uh, you know, this one obviously would be loaded with around 18 figures. Uh, so here are my predictions. Luke is going to come in his yellow jacket, maybe with his metal, uh, you know, modernized version. It's going to come with Leia in her celebration attire. Han Solo with his metal. Chewbacca, 3PO and R2. Those are all pretty, you know, basic. Mon Mothma, I think, makes a ton of sense to get our first Mon Mothma in a while. Admiral Akbar, uh, you know, Wedge Antilles. Uh, you know, two regular pilots, I think they could do, like, Biggs Darklighter or Jack Porkins, the fat guy. Uh, you'd also get three rebel soldiers, like, you know, the plain, you know, Tantive Four versions, two honor guard uh, rebels for the command room, and, you know, Mon Mothma, and then two technicians to work on all the ships, and then General Dodonna, since we already got him, and that would be an easy one for LEGO to put back out. And then I have some other small ones. It would make sense if they came out with a Bail Organa, and, you know, possibly Hera, and I know there's going to be another astromech droid somewhere in there. Uh, so, you know, those are those last three are kind of possibilities, uh, but the other ones are pretty darn certain to happen. But it makes a ton of sense to me. Uh, now, let's get into the buildable characters type sets. So, every year we've gotten two of these. You know, la last year in 2020, we got the Baby Yoda, and we also got the Dio. This year we got UCS R2-D2 and the Probe Droid. So, what are the builds going to be for next year? Now, my guess is in the style of the Probe Droid type set, we're probably going to be getting a Pit Droid. Uh, that just makes sense. They appeared in The Mandalorian, they appeared in the, the originals, and then I think the UCS set, and hear me out on this, is going to be the Gonk Droid. It, it is absolutely going to be the Gonk. We need the Gonk. They're prominent in every Star Wars medium. They've been in, they're the only thing to be in every Star Wars medium. Not R2-D2, the Gonk Droid. A Gonk Droid has been in every one. No matter what, they've always been there, and they will always be there. Love the Gonk Droids. Now let's get into the next UCS set. <laughs> now next up for our UCS set, I wouldn't be shocked if we get a $200 TIE Bomber next year. You know, $100, $199, that would make a lot of sense to me. And, you know, two bomber pilots, like, wouldn't you go too crazy? Maybe some arm printing, we'll have to wait and see. And then finally, I don't know if this set would come out next year or the year after. We're getting three UCS sets this year, so, you know, it would make sense uh, if they did it next year. But I am predicting, and this is going to be a pretty wild shot, but I think it makes a ton of sense since we're getting the UCS gunship, but it is going to be the UCS ATTE. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, you know, this would go right alongside the gunship. It'll be way out of scale compared to minifigures. Uh, you know, this could either be a UCS set, and I wouldn't be shocked if they did a mainline set, maybe Bad Batch themed. Um, but, you know, it'll come with a pilot for it. Maybe Plo Koon would make sense at minimum if it's a UCS set. And then after that, it is going to come with three, you know, Phase 1 clones if it's a regular set. And if it's also a regular set, you'll probably get a clone sergeant. Now, I know that that one was pretty wild, but I think it makes a ton of sense, especially because it is, again, the anniversary of the attack of the clones. So with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed my predictions. What is your one prediction for 2022? What is, like, the set that absolutely is going to come out no matter what? Because it's really kind of up in the air. Like, this year we knew for a fact we had to get, like, a Soga vs. Small. That was just a, you know, known fact. It had to happen. So what is the matter-of-fact set that you think is going to happen? I will see you all in the next one. Remember to peace out and stay awesome.